Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. A Black Lives Matter thug from Philly was in for a bit more than he bargained after trying to break down the door of the Pennsylvania Attorney General. Unfortunately for the punk, he eventually broke the government door, and let's just say he wasn't laughing after seeing who was on the other side. Black Lives Matter activist A.S. Akolif, also known as Earl Pittman, likely his legal name, has made a name for himself as an active member and leader in the domestic terror organization. Although he thinks highly of himself and is lauded a hero by entitled brats on the left, it's safe to say that Martin Luther King Jr. wouldn't agree with the man's stance or tactics. Of course, Khalif will never rise any higher than a local organizer because his methods aren't accepted by normal, rational human beings. In fact, he was recently able to prove just that during a little outburst he had at a government building in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, while protesting the death of David Jones who was shot and killed by police. For those unaware, police pulled over Jones and found him to have an unregistered firearm in his possession. In the end, Jones would reach for the handgun despite several warnings not to do so, prompting the officer to shoot and kill him. Despite these facts, idiots like Khalif are still trying to use the situation to further the racist agenda, all the while calling every white person they see a racist. Most recently, Khalif headed down to the Attorney General's office in Pennsylvania in order to hold a two-man protest. Taking Ikira along with him to record the ordeal, it wasn't long before things got out of hand. For some reason, Khalif thought that he could force his way into a restricted part of the building, and when he was stopped, he tried to break down the door that was shut in his face. Action starts at about the 6.30 mark. We're not f leaving until we get the answers, he could be heard screaming in a video of the incident that has since been posted to Facebook. Don't hide behind the F, ing door. Open the F, ing door and answer questions. Too bad for him, things would go horribly wrong as he began to take his temper tantrum to the next level. As can be seen in the footage since shared by NBC10, Khalif hit the door until eventually, the glass fell out. Of course, he wasn't laughing after seeing who was on the other side as a police officer shoved the door open and announced that he was placing the entitled brat under arrest. In all, it looks like Khalif was wrong when he said that he wasn't leaving without answers as he was forced to do just that. Even better yet, he's now facing charges related to making terrorist threats, institutional vandalism, defiant trespass, harassment, and disorderly conduct. As for Black Lives Matter, they better get a grip because society is governed by rule of law. For some reason, savage members of the group seem to think that times are going backward as they clearly don't mind exhibiting signs of barbarism. Too bad for anyone looking for answers pertaining to Jones's death, they're just going to have to be patient. In fact, local officials made that perfectly clear after arresting Khalif by releasing a statement. Attorney General Shapiro has publicly stated when the investigation has concluded he will announce a decision, said Joe Grace, a spokesperson for the Attorney General's office. Recently, Mr. Khalif was directly advised of that fact. We take this investigation seriously, appreciate its importance to the community, and are conducting a thorough review of the facts and the law. Long story short, you don't get to make up the rules as you go. We have laws in this country and everyone is expected to follow them. If you prove that you can't do that, well, then there's a cage waiting for you where we can lock you away in order to ensure that society is kept safe from the danger you pose. It's really as simple as that. Ask Khalif. He'd be the first to confirm right about now. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. News.